Okay. Well, thank you. I'm uh, David Fow, talking about uh, connections between generative adversarial networks and actor critic methods. So, actor critic methods are a class of algorithms in reinforcement learning where you learn a policy and a value simultaneously. And in recent years in deep reinforcement learning, this class of methods has uh, shown a lot of promise in continuous domains like uh, reaching and grasping, walking and driving. Uh, but within the reinforcement learning field, actor critic methods have a reputation sort of similar to GAN's. Uh, they're known for being very difficult to train, having a lot of stability issues. Uh, they'll fall into degenerate solutions, maybe oscillate around. Uh, and I want to suggest that this isn't just a coincidence, but there's actually a very deep formal connection uh, between GANs and a certain class of actor critic algorithms. And that uh, tricks and heuristics for stabilizing one uh, can be applied to the other. So uh, an actor critic method, uh, basically the idea is you want to do gradient descent uh, to learn a policy that maximizes your, uh, your expected reward. Uh, this gradient is a function of the true value, which generally isn't something that you have access to. So to get around this, you also learn a value function using something like temporal difference learning. Uh, and this is a, a wide class of methods. Uh, if anybody was at the policy optimization tutorial, you probably heard a lot about this. Uh, but there's a certain class of models uh, within DeepRL uh, that has come up in recent years uh, that has a very, very close connection to GANs in terms of the way information flows. Uh, basically, this algorithm uh, deterministic policy gradients and its stochastic extension, uh, stochastic value gradient zero, uh, work uh, by training a policy uh, that never actually is able to see the reward, uh, but it's trained entirely with gradients uh, passed back from the value network. Uh, and this is very analogous to the way that generators never actually see the real data in GANs, but tra the training signal is entirely the gradients passed back from the discriminator. Uh, but we can actually make this uh, connection more precise. Uh, we can describe uh, a type of MDP where training one of these uh, actor critic algorithms uh, actually is equivalent to training a GAN. So you can have an actor uh, which sets pixels in your environment. Uh, the environment then stochastically chooses either to show a real image and give reward one, uh, or show the actions and give reward zero, and then the critic has to predict what this reward is. Uh, I should note that the actor never actually sees the, uh, the true uh, environment, making this uh, partially observable. Um, but also, uh, it's sort of an unusual MDP because the actor can't actually influence uh, the reward in any way. And this is what causes uh, the actor and the critic, which normally are learning uh, sort of orthogonal functions, uh, to become adversarial. Uh, the actor tries to do whatever it can to increase reward, but there is no, uh, there's no action that does that, so the actor and critic end up, uh, basically end up fighting instead of cooperating. Uh, so this connection is all well and good, but uh, what, how can we actually use this? What can we learn from it? Uh, well, just as you've probably heard a lot today about um, various tricks of the trade for stabilizing GANs, uh, the actor-critic community also has a, has a large number of uh, heuristics and methods. Um, some of which have not yet been applied to GANs. Ideas from GANs have not yet been applied to actor-critic algorithms. And also anybody who's very interested in, um, in developing new methods uh, for training GANs, I would encourage them also to look at these algorithms like deterministic policy gradient and uh, consider developing algorithms that work for, uh, for a broader class of, uh, of problems. And if you're interested in learning more about what these tricks are, come, uh, come talk to me and come see the poster. So thank you. Uh, question. Is there a good question? No? For later. Okay, thanks. Thank you.